After you've finished watching the video and have submitted your individual notes on Google or Schoology, there are three tasks you can start working on. The first is creating a rough draft in a Google Doc and writing the introduction for your group to Proto-Indo-European. This will go on to your website. The second is to find Proto-Indo-European root words for the words in your text. And the third is to start working on your website. The directions for that is in an alternate video. For your rough draft, open your Adventure of English folder, create a new document. The name of the document should be Project Rough Draft and then your group members' names. Then be sure to share it with everyone in your group and with me. You shouldn't have to share it because it's already in the shared folder, but let's just do this out of an abundance of caution. We'll create a Project Rough Draft Google Doc because while multiple people can work on a Google Doc at once, only one person can work on the website at once. Also, we can take the Google Doc and put it into Turnitin, not to penalize you, but to make sure we haven't plagiarized anything before we put it online and call it our own. Next, in your rough draft, someone should compose an introduction to what Proto-Indo-European -Indo is and how we know it's there. This introduction should be very short. It's going to go in your website under Proto-Indo-European. So your website will have your title, your introduction, and your text. And then the first headline is Proto-Indo-European. So you just want to give an introduction that explains what Proto-Indo-European is before you start introducing some words from your text that derive from Proto-Indo-European. Now you have to look to see what words in your text are descended from words in Proto-Indo-European. You'll use this information to choose two or three of those words to answer these questions. There are a couple of ways you can investigate which words in your text are derived from Proto-Indo-European. You can go to your Adventure of English Google folder and look at your Google Sheet you made last week. I've got my etymology. Hidden in these etymologies may be some information on Proto-Indo-European roots. A quick way to find this is to hit Control-H, which is Google's search function. And I'll type in PIE, which is Proto-Indo-European's acronym, and click Find. Ah. You'll have to close the window, and the cell with PIE will be highlighted. Is comes from Proto-Indo-European. I can see that here, P-I-E-S-T. That's where it comes from. But is is a boring word, so I'm not going to work with it. I'm going to try and use, choose a word that has interesting definition that I want to write about. So I'll go Control H again. Try next one. Serious. Serious comes from the P-I-E root cero, slow and heavy. I can work with that. So what I'll do is, you can't copy information directly from a cell, so I'll go up here to this little taskbar, that's where I can copy from, and copy this information. To keep track of my information for the moment, I'll copy it into my rough draft because it's a lot easier to work with than Google Sheets. Serious. There's the information. And I'll go back to the Google Sheet to get the citation. Now getting the information from your Google Sheet isn't going to be very helpful if last week you got most of your etymology from the Oxford English Dictionary because the online etymological dictionary has a lot more information on Proto-Indo-European roots. So if you used the Oxford English Dictionary last week, I recommend you just type in some of your words into the online etymological dictionary this week and skip using your Google Sheet entirely for this week. So choose a word from your text, type it in, 
find the PIE root if it has it, copy that into your rough draft, copy in the URL, do that for several words and you're all set.